We're Gear 323V! If you are planning to volunteer at a VEX robotics competition as a field resetter, we want to thank you. And if you've never done it before, then this is the video for you. Today, we are going to show you how to set up the field. The first thing to note is there are two ways to set up the field. One for competition and one for skills. First, we're going to show you how to set up for competition. So the first thing you'll notice is on the blue side, um, how you're going to set it up is you're going to start by putting a blue ball in each of the goals. There is also going to be a blue ball in the front of each corner goal, like just 45 degree angles out from the goal, and make sure it doesn't roll away. And then there is also going to be one preload for each team. So you can just take that preload and put it on the field so the teams can get access to it really easily. The next thing is you're going to have a red ball in the, on the top of each goal. So to recap, you have only blues are going to be touching the field floor. There's going to be a blue in the bottom of each goal along with ones outside the goals in the corners and then the two preloads. And then there's going to be a red in the top of each of the goals. The red side of the field is the exact same except the colors are switched. Make sure to only have reds on the bottom and to have a blue on the top of each goal. Another note is, with these balls that are being set off from the corners, make sure that the edge of the ball lines up with the goal. Make sure they're not too far out or too far in, but just lined up with the edge of the goal. And now for the middle row. The first thing you'll notice is if you're sitting on the blue side of the field, the balls on the left side are going to be primarily blue. Similarly, if you're on the red side, the balls on the left side are going to be primarily red. Now, you have on the blue and on the left side, if you're on the blue side, you have blue, red, and then blue, and then you have the ball that is positioned halfway between these two tiles on the middle, and then another ball by the center goal. Similarly, on the red side, you have red, blue, red, again with the ball halfway between the two lines, and then the other ball near the middle. You also have two additional balls, and they're on the opposite color of the side they're on. So this is the red side, so you have a blue ball, and then on the blue side, you have a red ball. Now with all four of these balls, the edge of the ball is lined up with the edge of the goal. And congratulations, you now know how to set up the field for competition. And now I'm going to show you how to set up the field for skills. The first thing you want to do is you want to take all the blue balls and put them into all of the goals. And the way to do that is remember one, two, three. One ball in each of the edge goals, two balls in each of the corner goals, and three balls in the middle. Again, that's one in each of the edge, two in each of the corners, and three in the middle. Then for the red balls, it's a little more difficult, but it's mirrored both um, this way and this way across the middle line, so it's not too terrible. To, first thing is make sure you have a ball in each of the four corners on this white line, halfway between the edges of the tiles here. So you may not have the color tiles here, but just make sure it's on the white line, between these two tiles, between the edge. You also have a ball against the wall over here, halfway between the edges of these tiles. So make sure you have that ball here. And then across the middle line, you have four balls. Now these balls are on um, the line where four tiles meet. So wherever four tiles meet, there's going to be a ball on the line. And then you will also have four balls surrounding this middle goal. Now two of them, I just mentioned, the other two are going to be the same distance away from the middle goal. They're also going to be on the edge of four corner goals. There's just not a line to help you line it up. And then the other side is the exact same um, with the ball um, there and then the, one, the two balls on the lines, two balls against the wall. Now there is one more ball that you have, and that is the preload. The preload, um, you're just going to make sure it's in a place that a team will have an easy time getting to it. So either hand it directly to the team or put it on the ground next to where the team will be setting up their robots. And that's all. Now you know how to set up the field for skills. We want to thank you once again for volunteering for a VEX Robotics Tournament. This tournament's going to happen without you.